this is Taylor here. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm here to do my plan with me for the very last week of May. And I'm actually starting this on Tuesday. So I am extremely behind with planning. But you know, that's what happens sometimes. That's life. We get behind and life catches up to us. So here I am being very real with you and starting my plan with me a, a day into the week. Sorry, I'm starting this on Monday, not Tuesday. Gosh, see, I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> um, I'm a mess. So anyways, I thought it would be fun first to just look back on my week from last week and see how things went. I didn't end up um, adding a whole lot extra to what I had going on for the week. Um, I had some things that I didn't even check off that I got done. Um, I did end up studying for three days of the week and I did study a little bit on Saturday and Sunday so good job me making up for Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have study in my planner for the Praxis test I have coming up. I am planning on being a music teacher and I student teach next semester so I'm hoping to pass my pra Praxis exam and PLT exam before the semester starts so I can just have those done and out of the way. So here's to hoping that I pass because that is actually going to be this week on Thursday. So I only have three days left to study, which is kind of nerve wracking. I feel like I haven't been dedicating the amount of time I would have wished to, um, to my studying, but you know, again, that's life. Things don't always turn out how we think, even if we do plan every day for those things. So here's to just hoping and praying that the test goes well for me. So as you can tell, I don't have a lot of sticky notes down because there's not a lot of plans I have set in stone for the week. So this will definitely just be more of a decorative spread and then adding as the week goes. So we're just going to go ahead and jump in and get started. I don't want this to be too long. So I'm going to be using Planner Kate's uh, Mini Kit 147A, and I'm just using the one sheet. Um, I used to do the full and half boxes, but realized that they just, I felt like it was too much, and I kind of wanted to simplify my planning a little bit. Um, for those of you who watched my Erin Condren unboxing, I am switching to the hourly layout um, in the new Life Planner, and so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing with kits yet, but for now, this is what... I'm using in the academic planner and if this doesn't look familiar that's why it's the academic planner which isn't very popular there's not a lot of plan with me's on YouTube for them so hopefully this will be fun for you to watch and see how I use the academic planner just for my everyday life especially since I'm not in school right now anymore um, since I'm out for the summer but yeah so let's just get started um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this cute washi down. I just love, love, love this set. It is, this kit is super, super cute. And also, I'm in a weird planning space today as well. Like I said, I just don't, I just didn't have a lot of things ready for this week. I didn't even have things in my planner yet, so it is definitely a Monday. Things are a little crazy. I don't know, where is my ruler? See, you know what this would happen? There it is. I knew I'd have something that <laughs> I forgot, but it's okay. We got my ruler. Um, and it is Memorial Day today, so I hope everybody is out having fun. And it's nice outside, having fun with your families. My boyfriend and I um, went climbing this morning for a few hours, which was... A ton of fun. Um, usually we go in the evenings and only have time for maybe an hour and a half. So it was nice to be able to just dive in and really spend some time rock climbing. So that was super fun. And then we went and got tacos because we didn't feel like cooking. <laughs> and tacos just sounded really, really good. For those of you who don't have a taco shop in your area, I'm from Kansas, so taco shop is a really common Mexican restaurant. I'm not sure where it's all located. I know it's a chain, but not a huge one. I think it's only so big, but 
Taco Shop has the best tacos, hands down. That's so cute. So I love this hexagon. I think it reminds me a lot of the um, Erin Condren hexagon powder pattern. <laughs> My gosh, I can't talk. Why am I such a mess? Okay, and then before I start putting too many stickers down, I'm going to go ahead and write in the week up here. And for those of you who haven't maybe seen um, an academic planner before, it comes completely blank. So you write in the dates and um, the months as well. So let's see, we are in, <laughs> I thought it was Tuesday earlier. So obviously I'm very not together with everything. Okay, so this is the 27th and then it's gonna go through June the 2nd, right? Yes. So May 27th. June 2nd. Okay. My handwriting is not the best, but we got it in there. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and fill in the rest of the dates. So if this is Monday the 27th, so May is 5. Okay. Goodness. Okay. 5-27. Five twenty eight, five twenty nine. Then we have five thirty and five thirty first. Then we have six one and six two. I don't know why I get so nervous when I write on the actual planner because you can always use whiteout. I just, I don't know. I'm such a perfectionist, so, and I hate my handwriting, which doesn't help. <laughs> okay, so anyways, moving on. The next thing I'm gonna do is put this full box down. I love putting this just on the Monday square, so it does end up covering the date, but it doesn't bother me a whole lot, so. I'm completely fine with it. I just like having it in that one little square. Like, usually, you know, you see in the hourly plan with me's and stuff that they have that little box up in the corner. I obviously don't have that, so I just use it there. I used to put full boxes in every empty, but I really like the way that that's been looking lately. I just think it looks super simple and clean, so that's very cute. And then I'm gonna add in my weekend sticker here at the bottom. We're gonna put that here. It's a little crooked. I'm gonna need to fix that. I think I did this last time too. I just, you're gonna notice that I fix my stickers a lot because again, I just, I like things to be too perfect so <laughs> And then I'm gonna go ahead and put down, I like to use these little check boxes over the to-do circles that are already there. I just like the pop of color that it adds. I feel like it just makes the whole thing come together. So I like to include those. But anyways, again, I hope everybody is having a good Memorial Day. I, my family, had a get together yesterday for the holiday, but of course I had a wedding to be at, so I missed out on the family things. I did not miss out on food though. I get to eat leftovers, which I am more than okay with. I just had to get home after spending some time with my boyfriend so that I could get this filmed. Okay, that looks really good. All right, then I am gonna go ahead and add in, I'm actually gonna put in this planner time sticker on Monday just since like that's what I'm doing right now. Um, and we are gonna put this, I kind of wanna put it on a little, should I put it on one of these? Let's do it on, let's put it on this little green one. 
I think that that's really cute, but we're gonna see if we can make that work. Yeah, so then we're just gonna put this down here at the end of the day for planner time because that's when I am filming this. It's like five o'clock right now and I am just throwing this together. Okay, perfect. And then I do work, so I'm gonna wait to write in my work ones. We're gonna save those for last. I'm gonna go ahead and write in. So I take the Praxis on Thursday, like I mentioned, and beforehand, a group of friends of mine, there's four of us that are taking the Praxis all at the same time that day. So we agreed to go to breakfast and not spend the, the morning studying. We just want to spend the morning eating good food and getting ready and not freaking out. So that'll be a lot of fun. So the Praxis is at 1.30. I think I'm gonna put it on one of these big boxes just because it's a big deal and I want it to be known. So I'm gonna do it on this like half box here. I'm gonna say, uh, we'll write it like this. Praxis exam 1.30 p.m. There. So we're gonna stick that on Thursday because that is a huge deal. I really, really hope that it goes well. I'm super nervous because again, I just didn't get to study as much as I wanted to, but we'll see. I still have a little bit of time. I'm gonna put this little exclamation point just to show like, yes, that is a huge deal and that is happening. Um, and then not sure what time we're gonna go to breakfast yet. So I think I'm just gonna write it um, on one of these. Let's see, we're gonna do this pink one here. I'm just gonna say pre-exam breakfast, I think. I guess it would probably be more of a brunch, but we're just gonna say breakfast. Not sure what time yet, so I'm gonna leave that blank until we verify exactly what time we plan on getting together. Um, and then let's see. Oh, actually, I'm gonna scoot. I'm gonna scoot this up because I almost forgot. I need to add the bachelor in because that comes on tonight so of course we can't can't forget about that <laughs> so let's just add in um we're gonna do the screen one as well um and do 7 p.m it's bachelorette actually i don't know if anybody else watches the bachelorette but it is definitely one of my guilty pleasures. Um, it's actually a tradition for my, me and my mom and my sister to watch The Bachelorette every season together. So that's just kind of our girl time. It'll be super fun. Um, okay, what else? So I use, let's see, I think I have them tucked back here behind my planner. So I use these little work script stickers to write in um, the days that I work. So I usually just put this um, just wherever in the day. So like I've explained before in my other plane with me that I kind of just, I basically use this like an hourly. So like I put things in order of when they happen. So it's the beginning of the day, I'm gonna put it up towards the top. So I work 9.30 to 5 tomorrow morning. And hopefully I will have this up tonight, even if it's kind of late. Just because I want to not be too late with my plane with me. People will be over it by that time. I don't even have my July kits ordered, which is 
Ah, <sighs> it's fine. You know, I just haven't decided what I want to do in the hourly yet, so I'm iffy about putting in my order because I just don't want it. I don't know. Okay, I'm actually going to put this towards the bottom since it's not like I'm going to be doing anything after work. So this will be at work two to close. And I've explained before, again, if this is your first time watching me, I work retail currently before I finish up my last semester. So my work schedule is different every week, just depending on how I get scheduled. I only got scheduled two shifts because since I'm taking the practice on Thursday, I asked for that entire day off. And then I'm taking Wednesday off so I can study all day. So I made sure to have those days off. Um, and then Saturday, I've totally forgot to actually put this on here, but I have a wedding. I didn't add a sticky note. So I think I'm going to use another big box for that wedding. So this will be Dorsey wedding. And that is at, let me check what time. Again, I am just all over the place. I don't have it written down on my phone. So I'm gonna have to look at the invitation, but I have that going on Saturday, so I also have that day off of work. And I'm just gonna stick this here on this side. And I'm gonna add the little balloons because that's sort of a celebration there. Um, and then I won't know if I work Sunday yet or not. So I think that that's it. I really do. I think that that's all that I have. I do get paid, so I might as well put payday down. Um, let's just put this over here on Friday. That'll be exciting. So I have payday. Let me go back and check my monthly spread. So I have my Praxis test at 1.30. And I think that that's it. So, I still have to do my monthly plan with me for June because as you can see, that is blank. So, hopefully I, I'm either gonna film that right after this or I'm gonna find time tomorrow to film it after I get off of work and just be a little late with that. Um, but, I think that that's seriously all that I have going on. Um, I think that Wednesday I'm going to be doing something with a friend, but we don't have anything established yet, so I'm just going to leave it blank for now. Sorry that there's not a lot of concrete plans that I have to show you guys, but um, yeah, I hope that you got something out of this. So usually I will use the little checklists on Saturday and Sunday as well, but that just depends on if I'm actually going to be tasking on those days, so um, I, I'm just going to add depending on how my week goes. but. Other than that, that is what my week looks like um, in, the, in the academic planner and using the Planner Kate kits. So, yeah, seriously, I think that's it. I'm just planning on studying during all of my extra spare time. Oh, let me put that down. So let me write down, I have one, two, three more days to study. So I'm just going to write three of these. This will be study. And I haven't studied today, which it's a holiday, so like you can't really blame me. But it's, I don't know. I feel like I've made a lot of excuses to not study. But it's really, really hard to like finish the semester and then go right into studying for an exam. I don't know why I chose... Okay, I do know why I chose to take it and at the end of May, and that's because my teachers pressured me into it. They were like, you need to do it while you're still in school mode, but I just feel like I clocked out already, so that was not very effective. I feel like I should have given myself a little bit more time after May was over, honestly. I feel like I would have studied better in June, but... All right, that gives me three days to study. So I'm gonna study after I'm done filming, probably after I'm done with Bachelorette, which is fine because I'm a night person, I'm super productive. 
late at night, so that's probably when I will study. So, anyways, I think that that is it for sure this time. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I am newer to YouTube, so also hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Thanks. Bye.